Hey guys and welcome to another video where I'm going to be taking a look at one of my favourite vehicles in Battlefield 5. I'm going to put some gameplay in the background from about 5, maybe 6 games that I've played over the past few days and then hopefully you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to my favourite vehicle I think. It's definitely my favourite plane in Battlefield 5. Now I'm of course talking about the Mosquito and more importantly, it's the Mosquito that can carry the six pounder cannon and then the 4,000 pound bathtub bomb. Well, I call it the bathtub bomb. It did actually have a different name in the Second World War, which we'll get into in a second. It's quite incredible, this aircraft. Not only do you get a bomb that causes just huge devastation as it slowly falls to earth, flattening buildings and anything really in its path. But it also has that cannon on the front, which is incredibly powerful versus tanks and infantry on the ground. Although you do need to be aiming downwards at the ground, putting yourself at a little bit of a disadvantage versus enemies. Say they have a rocket or a tank trying to shoot you. It's slightly easier to get you as you're flying directly at them a lot of the time. Now the footage you see in the background at the minute is from Arras, and I've played a couple of rounds of Arras. It's one of the best maps in Battlefield 5 if you're looking to play vehicles and infantry side by side. Some people don't enjoy it because of the planes and the tanks. In Battlefield 5 you're always going to have that issue unless you play a map like Marita or Operation Underground. So for me it's pretty much the sweet spot. You've got some decent infantry gameplay. Not the biggest map, but obviously it's big enough to have some classic battlefield experiences, and then you have lots of vehicles as well. This plane also has the front firing machine guns, so if you're in a dogfight and you have the drop on the enemy, it can be pretty useful, and there's that bathtub bomb once again coming in to save the day. You can drop this thing from miles away, and as you saw in the background, I've been irritated all game by that AA gun in base. It happens a lot in any Battlefield game you play, so what I'm going to do here is use that third-person reticle, which is extremely powerful since they put it in to Battlefield 5, and I've just dropped the bathtub bomb on him. He doesn't know. He's still shooting me. You can see the flak there just exploding. There's the bathtub bomb. It hits and actually takes out somebody else. There were two people around there, so pretty satisfying stuff. It can be so annoying when you're on the ground in a tank, and it's not so much the Mosquito that does this, it's usually the big bombers like the JU or the Blenheim. They take you down and you can't even hear the bombs coming down, you just explode and get flattened. So we've moved on now to the second map I've played, this is Fiel. It's an absolute nightmare once again for infantry. It's actually one of my favourite maps when it plays well for infantry. It's just a really good map in terms of engagement distances and I can use my favourite weapons and just have a lot of fun, avoid the Type 2A quite a lot, but the planes, of course, are really annoying. So in order to have fun, you need to be dominating the sky. As I said, it's really plane orientated. So perhaps it's the best map on the game to level up your planes. If that's what you're looking to do, this could be a really, really good map. Despite that complete imbalance between infantry and air vehicles, as I said, you can have a lot of fun with infantry, but you really do need to have a plane like the Mosquito on your side dealing lots of damage to enemy planes. Unfortunately, though, since I think it was March last year, DICE messed something up in a patch, so there's a surprise. And, uh, yeah, the cannon on the front of this just dusts on enemy planes. It's very rare you actually get a hit. So this is why I included this gameplay. It's the most frustrating experience I think I've had in a plane in a long long time I just can't kill things and me being me I kind of do a lot of this for the video content so usually if that's happening to you use the front mounted machine gun to kill him or just peel off and you know do something else but I wanted to see how many dusts I would get and if it actually started to work just dropping that 4,000 pound bomb one little trick with the 4,000 pound bomb which you see towards the end of this VL match that Let's say a trick, it's something to avoid doing and I forgot to. The splash damage on that bomb is absolutely huge. It will not just kill everything on the ground, which is exactly what you want, it will also kill you. So you really need to drop it from a distance, which is what I'm doing here. It's also good to stay away from the ground as well, because you limit the potential for the enemies to take you out with that Panzerfaust or Bazooka or whatever it is they've taken. And the clip's coming up in a second as I just get a little too close to the ground and drop that bomb. 
as you can see I'm just too close there and it just takes me down I still get quite a few kills with it but I could have really dropped that bomb earlier then used the cannon kind of peeled away and you know gone on another flank so I'm back in the plane anyway and I'm on the back of an enemy bomber and this is again some dusting so I switch out to that machine gun take him out Obviously, when you're in the sky on Fiel, you need to focus on planes. As I said before, if you want your infantry players to succeed on the ground, you really do need to take out planes and then focus on you know, a couple of strafes to clear flags and just slow the enemies up. This plane is probably the best on the game for doing that. Well, the JU-88 is the best on the game. A couple of the fighters were good until they got ruined. And now, really, the Mosquito is my favourite. But here's the worst clip. I'm behind a JU-88. I have to take this thing out. How many dusts do I get here? Somebody said if you aim for the wing tips or maybe the tail of the plane, you have a better chance of it connecting. I haven't really noticed any significant difference between the two. Um, so I just really feel as if I spam it and hopefully I get a hit. It doesn't dust on tanks, which is the weird thing. Only on enemy planes. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really satisfying weapon to use when it works but when it doesn't this is just absolutely ridiculous if you don't already know as well the ju88 has this tail gun which you can upgrade to a heavy machine gun and that thing is absolutely ridiculous the damage it deals out i mean you're not only going to be taking out a mosquito that's on your tail um, but you can take out fighters very easily you can also seat switch without having a massive animation and i'd say as well that um, it's probably, it makes it one of the most formidable fighters, if you like, like a fighter bomber in the game, as I nearly get taken out there by uh, JU-88's bombs, drop my own bomb, and then, yeah, it's, it looks like it's game over here. I don't do a very good job of getting this guy off my tail, but as is the nature of Battlefield Five dogfighting, you need to really team up with somebody else. And one little clip from the very end of this uh, Fiel match, or say the end of the match, the last bit that I decided to record, once again dropping in that bathtub bomb picking up a couple of kills and then just another example of really terrible dusting and then i die and i think i actually quit after this because i thought to myself i'm not going to go through this again the enemy team had a couple of fighters up they had a couple of ju's our team was going to win it you can see we had all the flags caps so i went and found something else to do and went looking for a new map so here we are Look at the background at the teams. We just played a match and won actually quite convincingly and for some reason our team quit and they suddenly, the enemy team, got a load of new players and it's very imbalanced. So here's a neat little trick at the start. I click on the tank and this is just how busted the vehicle spawning system is. I click on the tank just to kind of hold it. If I don't get a plane I have a tank. If I don't get the, uh, if I do get the plane, then I can leave the tank. Maybe a teammate will take it or a squad mate. I do get the plane and off I go. Now, the reason I do that is because whenever I don't click on a tank, it seems like I get this red ring around the plane and I can never spawn in it, however quickly I click on it. But anyway, start of a game of harass. This is what you want to do. You want to find the nearest vehicle coming towards you, kill the Koopa wagon, drop the £4,000 bathtub bomb, pick up another four bang. That's just absolutely ridiculously dirty in this plane. It can do so much damage. And you'll see a couple more clips on this game of Arras where I drop that massive bathtub bomb onto the objective. So I thought a funny thing to do in this video would be to compare other things that weigh £4,000. Now, it's quite difficult to do, really, because £4,000 is an odd weight. And I'll also compare it to kilograms as well, for anyone that doesn't know how heavy £4,000 is. So, starting out, what weighs £4,000? A single large adult walrus apparently weighs £4,000. Those things are pretty damn heavy. A pair of American bisons, so two American bisons, again, really big. About one and a half average family cars. So, you know, your usual five-seat coupe, sedan, I don't really know what you'd call them, depends what country you're in. Just a saloon car in the UK, that's probably around £3,000, £2,500. About 29 average humans, I guess it depends what country you're in, but around 29 to 30 humans. And the world record strongman deadlift is about 500 kilos, which is about £1,100, so three and a half of those to make up the bathtub bomb. That gives you some idea to how heavy this thing is, and the point I'm trying to make is it just is a unit. However, it did get me thinking, how could a plane the size of the Mosquito lift something like this? Is it actually that heavy to lift? 
And after a bit of research, it turns out the 4,000 pound bomb isn't actually the largest bomb attached to an aircraft in World War II. It's not even close. And some of you might be thinking about the atomic bombs in World War II, but they're not the biggest either. We'll get into that in a second. So the Vickers Wellington aircraft used to carry a blockbuster 4,000 pound bomb, which is what I think this thing in the background is. I think it's a blockbuster bomb. And later, it became part of the RAF standard bomb load for heavy night bombers. Mosquitoes were also part of this, used that 4,000 pound bomb. The Avro Lancaster, though, a bomber that I really want to see in Battlefield 5, it's such a shame we don't have it, had an even larger bomb load, sporting the 8,000 pound, that's 3,600 kilograms for anyone out there, and the 12,000 pound, that's 5,400 kilogram bombs. In order to accommodate such a unit, and that's the 12,000 pound bomb, the bomb bay doors on the Lancaster, that's where you drop the bomb out on the, the bottom of it, you can actually see it on the Mosquito open up and close when you drop this bomb, which is really cool. Um, they actually needed to modify and bulge out the bomb bay doors because they couldn't get it to fit, alongside a whole load of other things they had to do to the plane, reinforce it, maybe add additional engines or something, reduce the crew numbers, change the layout of the plane to accommodate that massive bomb, which was vastly successful as well during the war for what it was. This 4,000 pound bomb though in the background, it's little more than a cylinder full of explosives. It's completely unaerodynamic. It didn't have any fins. It's just dropped out at, I think, concrete targets mainly and just caused a massive explosion. The other large bombs I mentioned included that tall boy, which is the 12,000 pounds. It was called a tall boy because of the size of it. This thing was really, really kind of slender and tall for bombs. And that could only be carried by the Avro Lancaster. And most impressively, there was a larger one than that. The Grand Slam bomb, which was a 22,000 pound earthquake bomb, which is around 10,000 kilograms. The Grand Slam bomb was the heaviest bomb dropped from a plane in World War II. And as I said, even Little Boy and Fat Man, the two nuclear bombs, if you combined their weight together, they still didn't weigh as much as the Grand Slam. Obviously, the atomic bombs did far more damage, a different type of bomb completely. But in terms of weight, the uh, the actual weight of that bomb, if you were to pick it up, they just didn't even get close. So that's pretty crazy. Would DICE be able to put that 22,000 pound earthquake bomb in Battlefield 5? I mean, they have the V1 bombs and they cause massive damage, so potentially we could have it with a plane. Would it be smart to put it in the game? Not at all. The 4,000 pound bomb is already ridiculous and having one that is some quick maths just under six times the size of that it's just not going to happen so there we go towards the end of twisted steel and i did actually record a couple more games so i'm going to let them run in the background um i find really battlefield is one of those games that i play in fits and bursts if that makes sense so i did say at the end i think it was like the end of december last year that i've stopped playing battlefield 5 and i did genuinely stop playing it for around six to seven weeks i just completely didn't touch the game which is very unusual for me i play battlefield and have done since well on my pc since 2014 the end of 2014 virtually every i don't want to say every day but i've played it probably three times a week since the end of 2014 it's the game i play you know i play it more than any other game always have done i love this game and the franchise but battlefield 5 just it didn't really do it for me i've played so much bf4 i can't really go back to that too much i'm not going to go back to battlefield 1 and battlefield 3 is kind of the same i love it but it takes a bit of effort to get back into those older games so i kind of played some other games came back to battlefield 5 and i'm kind of addicted to it again despite all of the major bugs and this massive bathtub bomb is one of the reasons so here we have a clip on twisted seal I I'm banking round here looking for the bridge. It's quite difficult to sneak this bomb through the bridge, so I always just keep a lookout for a tank. And to the side here, I can't spot anything. And there you see a Fliegerfaust, so it kind of directs me towards that. I have another little peek what's down there, and I don't know if you can see, but there is a tank just on the edge. Drop the bomb, and then you pick up the kill. A fine way to finish off that clip on that map. And finally, a map that is, I think, a fine battlefield map, but it falls short in some aspects. There's some severe cover issues. 
as you see another little dust there there's some severe cover issues for infantry especially as you have this big charlie objective up on the hill and then massive lines of sights buildings that can be flattened it could really do with a bit of work there but the reason i've included this clip is because i'm flying with a teammate and Eros, my teammate, is absolutely ridiculous in planes. He just manages to get kills. I don't even know where he gets them from. And it's very difficult to keep up. But, uh, yeah, so we're helping each other out and just ransacking Mercury, flying together. As you see, a massive stutter there, but I'm flying together with him. So if he gets a plane on him, I go and help him out. If I get a plane on me, he helps me out. And you kind of have to do that in this game if you're in a plane that doesn't have a rear gun. We're taking out tanks, as usual. If you see smoke in a plane, it usually means there's an enemy hiding in it. So there we go, 4,000 pound bomb dropped down. What do we get? We get the, I think it was a Tiger. Might not have been a Tiger, I couldn't really see there. And two kills, probably the driver and then a repper or a gunner. And then we'll do the same here, just finishing off the round. So probably not the most effective plane of the game. I think the JU holds that one, but definitely the most fun I've had. And unless you get that bug where the bomb will tilt your plane, as I said, don't drop the bomb when you're close to the ground. You'll usually be very, very effective. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Feel free to leave a dislike if you didn't. Let me know your thoughts on the Mosquito 4,000 pound blockbuster bomb in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next video.